This month I've tested four types of epoxy, all made by Total Boat. I really wanted to see what I can replace Alumalite with. First one is the tabletop epoxy. Second one's thick set. Third one's penetrating epoxy. And my fourth one is just epoxy resin, the traditional type. Okay, obviously you've seen I have had some crafts. I've done some dips. My top one was definitely the tabletop epoxy. I had a really good experience using it in all types of weathers, whether it was just cold or hot. Uh, the one thing it does do is as soon as you get past uh, an inch or it heats up and rapidly sets. Now, which is good for me because for something like this, you know, that cured in four hours. All of these cured in four hours. All of these took a good 12 hours. Bonds to wood. Barely any kind of transition. Bonded the wood real nicely. It turned really nice. And I had no problems. I had really big ribbons. It was wonderful. As you can see, it comes out pretty clear. It's not crystal clear, but once you know, it's not glass, it's epoxy. So um, most of these I did not use a pressure pot for. That's why if you look real close, you can see bubbles. But as you can see, it's very clear. Also comes out very nicely. The best thing about the tabletop epoxy is I used it in regular cups. And it barely heated up to the point where it melted them. So I still had a nice shape by the time I was done. Also, I was able to use real thin molds. Uh, rubber molds. So anything like this. You know, real thin, something for ice cubes. That's usually kind of how I get my molds. When you pour it actual tabletop epoxy, it works really good too. Spreads out. It's thick. So it's not runny. It doesn't run off. You have plenty of time to work with it when it's as a tabletop. It fills the creases, crevices, everything. It colors well. Yeah, you can see. Very well. Honestly, I don't have a downside to it. It was $65 for a gallon, and that was the cheapest out of all of them. Moving on, thick set. Not a great experience with it, but it wasn't bad. Uh, I had a hard time pouring it when it was over 85 degrees. It took longer to cure than aluminum light would, but it came out pretty nice. You see that I dipped a couple organic material in it. Uh, this is a flower off my tree and this also turns pretty well not as good but you can see really did a good job uh, i wouldn't recommend pouring too deep i had a little bit of hard time with the first one i poured but also it was a little bit uh, warm out for me to pour takes color well just like the tabletop epoxy and let me see if i can really holds did great with thin molds um, the deep pours did not do great with thin molds. That is the one thing. It didn't, anything over two inches you're starting to get. You want it to be in a mixing cup like this. Just some mixing cup or a thick mold or real mold. Any of that. Uh, thin, yeah, I poured it. Obviously, you can see the skulls, the little ones here. You can see that worked out fine. The next one is penetrating epoxy. So... I'm not really entirely sure what you would need the penetrating epoxy for because the way it described it on the on the back, you can mix it with mineral spirits and it should sink in. I understand it's not like cactus juice. It's not going to really penetrate as much, but not a fan. Um, I had a really hard time getting it to be stable. This is a cup heated up. You know, another one of those live flowers. It was dried out, but ate the cup and uh, had a bad reaction. So every single pour I did it doesn't harden. So you can see that bends, which is okay. I guess if you want it for something soft, but that's not what I want. Bonded to wood pretty good, but I can still make finger marks in all this. I did not try to turn this because previous experiments it just heats up and uh, it doesn't create any ribbons. Last one I tried was the 
just traditional epoxy resin. I had a really bad time with this. Um, I my first pour, I really thought it might have been because it was hot, because they were all kind of reacting pretty pretty rough, and that was my first pour. The second pour, I pour, I, I dipped the the plant from out front, and it cracked. So I had some cracks in there. It still turned well, but not as well as the tabletop. Pretty much all of the tests came out looking like this. Let's see if my all pitted, looking weird. It tastes color well. It isn't clear. That one is not clear. So for this, this actually took pretty well. I was pretty surprised. The back pitted a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but color pretty well. It's just, I don't know why. I don't know what's why it pits that bad. It looks just bad. So whatever, it's not worth it to waste your time. It does stick to wood really nice. Very nice transition. Really nice transition. Came out pretty good. Uh, took the color. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but it is very nice. It's got a lot of depth to it. I recommend if you're going to buy the thick set. The thick set was good. After all the experience, the only total boat product that I will buy from now on is the tabletop epoxy. And like I said, it's $65. You get a gallon, which is great if you're on a budget or if you just don't want to spend $190 on Alumilite. And, you know, most of the things I have made turned out almost completely fine. It's got everything else. You know, you put it in a pressure pot, the bubbles go away. When you do mix it, there are a lot of bubbles. So if you're doing some kind of surface, I recommend putting in a pressure pot before you pour. I put it in a pressure pot. I cranked it up to 60. I let it sit for four or five minutes, brought it out, a couple of bubbles up top. I poured and hit it with a lighter, and then that was it. Everything else really worked out fine. Thanks for watching.